All right, here's our bonus segment. Or should I say our Venus segment? And we're gonna play Family Feud for the Super Nintendo. <laughs> and just like with uh, Double Dare, the Muppet Family. Alright. And we are playing against the Hall Family. Give me another word for Meathead. Name something you can now buy unsalted. How about a pretzel? Something that you can buy in the shape of a heart. Uh, box of candy. Something about yourself you'd like to change. How about the hair? No. Name. No. It's something you have to do for a successful vegetable garden. Water it. Bullseye! Alright, if you win the game, we're playing Fast Money for $13,000. Now, if the other team wins, they'll be playing Fast Money for $8,000. But in order to play Fast Money for the Banks, we have to play The Feud. 100 people surveyed. Top seven answers on the board for this first question. What might you have two or three different kinds of in your fridge? How about bread? No. Beverage. Uh-huh. Yeah, Let's see beverage. It, it, just seems that, you know, it, it makes, it's up there it in the number three out, spot. And they are going to pass. Okay. Why well, might you have two or three different kinds of in your fridge? How about fruit? Fruit is there. All right, Adam, let's see if you can think of one here. What might you have two or three different kinds of in your fridge? Meat, okay, good one. No, that's not there. How about condiments? You know, like ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, etc. No, that's not there either. 
Hmm, what else could there be? Oh, that's a good one. Show me the dairy. Cheese is there. It's number two. Well, you know what goes good with cheese is ham. And ham is not there. And they say jam. It's there, it's number four. Number one answer was salad dressing. Then mustard and pe Wait a minute. Mustard's a condiment, isn't it? And I said condiments is one of my answers. I should have gotten credit for that. Oh well. It's still early in the game. Point values are doubled. Top six answers are on board. Name something that people put in a casserole. How about tuna? Uh, we have them as a sponsor already. It's there, but one answer is better. Cheese. It's there, but it's lower on the survey. I'm going to play it. How about rice? Yep, rice is there. Uh, how about meat? Meat is there. How about noodles? Noodles is there and it's number one. We have one answer left, Adam. How about chip? Vegetables, okay. If vegetables is there, then we sweep the board and take the lead. If not, it's strike one. Let's see vegetables. No. How about chicken? No? Alright, two strikes. What do you think? Okay, let's see if breadcrumbs works. Again, if it's there, we sweep. If not, if we sweep the board, that is. If not, third strike. Breadcrumbs. No, strike three. Potatoes. Oh, that was the last one. All right, well, now we're going to have to win this next round in order to stay in the game. They're now up 228 to nothing. All right, we got to win this next round to stay in it, Adam. Top four answers on the board. Point values are triple from here on out. Name something kids leave all over the house. They're toys. Number one answer. Uh, 
Well, if they're coming in from playing outside and they're dirty, then they would leave mud all over the house. It's not there, though. And that was a good answer, too. Alright, uh, what do you think could be up there? Food, okay. Food is up there. Yeah, well, thank you. And yeah, and yeah, and it's something just. Alright, something kids leave all over the house. Okay. okay. Uh, footprints. Actually, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna say dirt. No. Alright, well, let's see if Footprints would have been up there. Let's see if Footprints is up there anyway. No. Nope. Alright, if the other family steals, they win. If not, we're still in it. Give up. We're still in it, Adam. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good answer. That's a good answer. All right, what were the last two? Clothes and shoes. All right, two thirty-seven to two twenty-eight. We have a nine-point lead. This next one's going to decide it. Top four answers are on the board. What's the first thing you open when you come home at night? The fridge. Three answers are better than that. The mail box. The mail. Well, that's definitely going to be higher up there. And in fact, it's the number two answer. So there's enough for either team to win, and they're gonna play. The garage, the garage door, of course. All right, all that's left is the number one answer. If they get it, they win. The house door, they got it. Ah. ah. We didn't even get a chance to steal that. Which is unfortunate because I would have said house door. Alright, well, we'll convert the 237 to dollars and add that to uh, Chris Kennedy's total. So the final score for him is 174,562. That is not bad. Let's see how the computer family does in the fast money. Name someone everyone carries pictures of. Their spouse. How many times would you pay to see a movie you love? Oh, I miss that one. Name a door people knock on before entering. House. A brand of canned goods. Part of the body doctors specialize in. Stomach. Twelve? Alright, they said five for the second one. Three. House? Twenty-nine. Hunts? Two. And stomach? Two. Alright, they need one fifty-two. Someone everyone carries pictures of. Family. How many times do you see the movie you loved? Four. Door people knock on before entering. Office. Brand of canned goods. 
Green Giant. Part of the body doctors specialize in the ears. Family, 11. Four. Got four. Office, 18. Green Giant, 14. They're not going to make it. Ears got four. And they came up one point short of halfway. They didn't even make it to halfway. Well, in any case, that's it for this birthday special for Chris Kennedy. We'll see you next time.